The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Anything else I need to examine on the body? No, nope, close. Oh, your harpoon. Harry was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. What's in the chest? What's in the box? Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size 8. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Now why are we looking in the chest? Okay, I can make deductions now. Pin to the wall. Break in attempts. Pin to the wall. Notebook. No, they don't make any sense. Wow, what is this? Make an ambush. The ambush must be made tonight to see if the break-in attempt will be repeated. Let's see. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. Last they night, to be in fact. To force the door to gain entry. Ship's log. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Apparently there's a, a first person view you can go into. How? Space, tab, not tab. Okay, forget about it. Oh. Lining of dust. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. There was a box here. Can I examine it? It looks pretty annoying. It looks pretty conspicuous. Oh wait, okay, of course. Suspiciously empty space. Outline in the dust. This That's exactly right. Not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. Quite recently. Uh, I think we should organize the, uh, the map. Hammerfest. Yes. <laughs> it's a whaling map. Obviously, with a huge whale just above Hammerfest. All right, let's organize this ambush. How do we do that? Outline in the dust, boots, the tobacco pouch. Got character profiles of Mrs. Carey and Black Peter. Let's see. How do we organize the ambush? Do we have to speak with the Strahd? Where, where is he anyway? Oh, there he is. Looks the same as everyone else. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. No surprise it is there. It's very probable that whoever came <coughs> here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Alright then, how do I skip to night time? <clears throat> Let's go around over here. Since this is where we'll be putting up our ambush. Right, meow. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Oh, nice. The fate of Black Peter. Deductive space icon is that indicates that some of your clues can form an important deduction and improve your progress in the investigation. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. I don't get the 80s, the 1880s lingo. I'm gonna collar him. Does that mean you're gonna smash him? Or you're gonna grab him by the collar? See, I've, I have no idea, mate. 
What are you doing? Is he standing guard? All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you, I'm innocent. What are the cuts I'm on his innocent. hand? Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're Damn, that escalated quickly. Yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. That escalated really quickly. We don't even know if he's guilty yet. We just found him. And we're going to put him in front of a judge? Damn! Things work fast in the 1880s. They do not mess around. Interrogate. Oh. Examine Nelligan's belongings. Talk to this guy. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else we can examine, people? Mr. Holmes? Guess I'm not going that way. In here, maybe? Oh, Nelligan's belongings. These nice. The suspect's belongings. Oh, here was his notebook. notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Ah. Oh. These abbreviations mean something, but what? It's the one ring. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Who was R. Dawson? With the initials J H N. <gasps> John Hopley Nelligan. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. But failed. Okay, that's all the evidence. Now time to go interrogate this little son of a bitch. Is he in here? Nope. In meow. Uh we'll do this after. Lock. Lock, okay, so it is this way. Unless it's this way. Whoa! Okay, it's not that way. Interrogating room. Okay, so it's, he's in here. There he is. Hello, hello, hello. The notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. Huh? What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. That's exactly right. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Time to do a character profile. Shabby hat. I'll do this way. Wait, right, where well, there's a patch. Short sleeves means it's not his. Well, it's probably not his. It's a thin neck. Callous. I have no idea what that is. Scars. Probably self defense. Short sleeves, it's probably someone else's jacket. It's been patched, which means. It's probably the only good jack he's had. 
but his shabby hat means he can't afford extra, so he's not very rich. Which means it is someone else's jacket. But whose? Okay, what else can we deduce from his attire? Oh, there's something. There it is. Elaborate buttons. Well, I see will I... see you soon, young man. No? We aren't going to figure out if I'm right. No! Throw me under the bus. Oh, wait. Let's make some deductions. Break in attempts, pin to the wall, swift actions. Peter Carey is armed with his knife, but he did not have time to use it. The murder acted quickly and instinctively. Nelligan's notebook. I think these two make sense. The break in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Uh, is there anything else? Not this. Looks like it's pretty much it. Uh, swift actions plus pin to the wall makes sense as well. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. That would have taken that would have taken some immense strength. To th well, I need to stage a reconstruction. Did he throw it or did he I'm pin sure it? I think he threw it actually. Oblige. So that would have taken some Im immense strength to throw that harpoon at him and pierce the wall. Um, can we talk to him again? What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. The evidence against you is pretty strong, young boy. Who do we talk to now? No one in here, I don't think. Unless Mr. Holmes. Nope, not him. This. C nope. Ah. Uh, can we examine his stuff again? These are the suspects below. Hey, no need to. Uh, actually, we could go this way. So let's go this way. The morgue. Is Peter Carey's body in the morgue? Looks like this is a pretty empty room. Let's go back. Um, locked. Locked. How the? What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. What do I do? Scotland Yard. No. Um, inspect the blah, blah, blah. Interrogate the suspect at Scotland Yard. We are at Scotland Yard, actually. Examine belongings. Done. Watson will be glad to help the preparate. Okay, so we go back to Baker Street. We're going to 221B. Open deduction. I think I've already made all the deduction. The deductions I could. What does this mean? The like little arrow V thing here. We've made it. Is that Toby? Toby the dog? A spot of wailing, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. <laughs> Close enough. Wonderful. Watson. The Ripper case, is that no homage to Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper? We require the carcass of a well fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. I think they referenced this case in the the um BB series the BBC series in Sherlock. And it was the Hounds of Baskerville. And Sherlock Holmes comes running in with a harpoon, and he says he's harpooned a dead pig. Of course. It all makes sense now. 
Um, so we need to go back to Woodman's Lee, get the harpoon, and then go somewhere. 